rattlesnake stuck in a Peoria backyard, and I am armed with my cooking spray. And you know what that means. So for those of you who have watched our channel, you'll know that these situations are pretty messy. You can get all gross and sticky, and you can put your fingers in precarious situations. And usually the situation is pretty avoidable, but we'll talk about that when we're done. How you doing? All right, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. Where'd you come from? You... Mesa. <laughs> oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> usually there's people closer, but we were kind of short staffed today. So he's right in there. So usually this, uh, the cooking spray deactivates it. So if you ever have anything else stuck in it that you just want to release, oh, okay. you like a mouse or something, you just spray it. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> that big one, little one, medium size? Uh, I would say if you were to compare it to like a person, like a like a preteen, okay. <laughs> relatively right. speaking, it is. I don't want to get cooking spray on your driveway. This is the second one we've had this season. Where did they come from? It kind of seems like we're closed in because you got this nice manicured neighborhood. Reality is, is there's desert everywhere and rattlesnakes can live pretty well in golf courses. This time of year, a lot of snakes are moving and looking for places like a garage to like hibernate in or overwinter in. Okay, so he's stuck, his jaws are in there, so I... Okay. Hey everyone, headed to my first call for the day. Gentleman just called me. He has a large rattlesnake stuck in some netting in his yard. Hopefully it's not like cutting in or, or stuck super bad where it hurt the snake and hopefully I can just cut it out and release it back into the desert. Hello, Hello. how's it going? Think? <laughs> so little guy stuck in some netting. What sounded like water. He's back by the lemons. Oh yeah. Oh, it's chicken wire, not mesh. Okay. Oh no, poor guy. Okay. The head stuck. Okay, um, this actually works. Uh, maybe I can reach him from, oh, he might come back in. Don't, you'll get stuck, bud, stop. Just fall down there. But he's now on the outside of your fence. How do I get back there? Okay. Is he gonna survive? I think he probably will. Snakes go through some pretty intense situations in the wild. Oh, oh. That is a diamondback. Yep, that's a western diamondback. You can see it starting to release a little bit. The skin is pretty thin, so I can't be too rough with it. But... got his tail. There we go, tail's done. Problem with these traps is that it's a very slow death for a lot of things. Like they catch stuff, but it's, it's pretty rough on the animals. Oh, here we go. Oh, that couldn't have felt good, right? Okay. Okay. Well, there it is. I'm not gonna put him in the wild like right now. I'll probably watch him for an hour or so, maybe go get something to wipe him off. He's on the other side. Hey, bud.
noise. All right, this big guy here, pretty fired up. Why do you just turn your head and go? Come on. It's safe to say he's probably not gonna turn his head while I'm still standing here. So I'm gonna walk away so that he can uh, see if he'll go in. He feels safer. See ya, bud. All right, well, the snake thankfully was not stuck that bad. It, it didn't have any puncture marks or didn't have any cuts on it. It was just a thick snake, tried to make its way through that chicken wire. If you're gonna use any sort of wire to keep the bunnies out, I think that's why people use it. Try to use a finer, finer wire, like that way you're not trapping things. Cause they said they've had other snakes get stuck too before. This one just was lucky enough that they saw it and I was able to cut it out. All right, well, I am about to go release a snake. I'm kind of sheltered by the wind because it's like really windy right now. So I found Found some nice rock piles out here, state trust land. Be good for the snake to hang out in. Probably live out its life out here, which is cool. Looks like I found some nice deep crevices in here in this rock pile. Stay the winter, not freeze. Little diamondback friend. I got some paper towels in there, maybe soak it up. It's getting the oil off like it was a piece of pizza or something. You guys do that with your pizza? Looks a little bit stretched out, but I think we're gonna be all right here. Snake skin is meant to be stretchy because they can eat big meals. It looks like it's okay. There's no rips. There we go. He's a little bit worn out, but I think that's a success. So as you can see, those glue traps are pretty nasty. And sometimes they give you a problem that you don't necessarily want to deal with, like um, a venomous reptile. Same goes for things like bird netting, chicken wire, and poison traps. There's nothing wrong with wanting to keep creepy crawlies out of your own space. There's different ways of doing it to where you can minimize the impact on the wildlife that we cohabitate with in the environment. Now I know that there are two groups of people watching this. One are the people that are trying to do their best to do right by the animals. The second that frankly just don't care. Those are the people that leave the nasty comments and things like that, like burn it, shred it, turn it into a hat, all that garbage. I'd encourage that latter group to care. Reconsider why you wanna burn or kill or destroy the things that threaten you. See if you'd be willing to change your mentality a little bit, change the personal culture that you've grown up with. And there are a lot of methods of keeping the creepy crawlies out of your space that don't involve the killing. Now, if you wanna go down a funny rabbit hole, look up all the different kinds of rodent traps and things that are out there in the world. When you're choosing pest control, when you're choosing methods of doing all that, do your research, even using the more conservative methods of doing so will yield the same result without doing harm to the environment. Anyway, I am way far away from Mesa and I need to get home.